What is up? My man. Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing, brother. Yeah, every week you ask, and every week I say not a damn thing. So let's, let's cross, just how's CrossFit get this. treating you? Say again? How is CrossFit treating you? It's kicking me dead in my ass. For anyone out there who thinks they're an athlete or thinks they're... Go give CrossFit shit a chance. Pay your money. Go to your on-ramp class. Give that shit a try. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, anyway, while you guys are giving shit a try, go over to fightmatrix.com. Um, these guys actually have a really cool website. I don't know if you've had a chance to jump over there, George, but, uh, they actually have their, they have their rankings, uh, records and statistics of all the fighters, MMA fighters, and their, their rankings are actually pretty cool. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to agree with them, but they more than welcome you to come over there and dispute, you know, debate with them about their rankings and everything. Anyway, it's fightmatrix.com. Go over and check it out. They've got some cute, uh, cool, um, uh, articles as well. So. Uh, tough. Anthony Gathers, thank you, sir, for the suggestions on Twitter. I think uh, Kevin and I should start reaching out to the fans maybe a week in advance because we shoot every Wednesday. Right. So if there's something you want to see us cover, tweet us at Kevin White Show. Is that you? Yeah, uh, yep, Kevin. I, the best thing for them to do is probably email RS. Don't you think? I, I say tweet because we need to build up our Twitter followers. Okay. Fuck it. Email Kevin, but you can tweet the Uncut Sports Show because that shit's basically mine's. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's his his, his. his is Uncut Sports Show. If you wanna if you wanna tweet me, tweet me at Kevin White Show. It's it's pretty simple. Now, and then um or hit me up at uncutkevin at gmail dot com. And uh, either way, we'll um. We'll fucking, I, yeah, because last night I was tweeting about the Ultimate Fighter and no one was around to talk with me, so I got bored. So then I said, fuck it, I'll just come back and fast forward the shit out of the show. So I'm going to be honest, I had no interest in this fight. Right. I watched the sweep in the first round, and then I fast forwarded straight to the end when it came up to Homeboy on Jones's team winning by majority decision. Yeah. And then after that's when the show got interesting. It's Yeah, I mean, the big thing about episode eight was obviously was the last preliminary fight, which featured Zach Cummins going against uh, Dylan Andrews. And then you had the coaches challenge um and then yeah, that was no one cares yeah no one like, really the, the gives coach's it, challenge is a joke unless you were fucking unless you fucking really like fucking driving bulldozers backhoes and fucking loaders anyway but uh i know some backhoes uh <laughs> yeah um the big thing was definitely going to be the wild card i thought and yeah, I mean, to me, to me, John Jones had a difficult decision to make. He did. Um, I think, I think he came up with a good reason to pick the person he did. Right. I wouldn't. I me personally, I'm not going to pick him to ever do anything. Right. Because my favorite part is, is you watch the highlight of next week's show, and it's a, it's a snapshot of Bubba being taken down. Right. I'm like, how do you? fight in the Greg Jackson camp and don't understand how to sprawl. Because that is the, the one thing the Greg Jackson camp will teach you is how to sprawl. You fuck, do not get taken down in that fucking camp, you know? If nothing else, you should be able to backpedal like Condit and stay away from a shot, but and the thing that is, is at the beginning of the season, this is the fight Bubba asked for, so he better win this fight. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, yeah, that will be, uh... I, now, let me ask you this, and, and everybody else out there watching the video, who do you have in this fight, honestly, For, forget how you feel about the individual, just based on skill, what you've seen from each guy so far in the house. I mean, these two, actually, these two opponents, who do you have, George? Uh, I was not impressed with Bubba. Bubba got taken down by the youngest guy in the house and submitted. Um, right. Maybe he was overlooking him. Maybe he had an excuse. Right. But just I, I, me personally, I don't think Bubba's going to win this fight. I think King's going to win it. And I'm not, put it this way, I'm not impressed with either one of them. I don't right. think either one of these guys is going to win the contract. Yeah. I think it's going to come down to Uriah Hall and Uriah Hall versus Uriah Hall. <laughs> Especially when you see him on this fucking NOS commercial. So it's like, all right, he's obviously got a contract or he's obviously working a gig with them already. But, uh, dude, um, there was a scene last night with Uriah Hall sitting down with, uh, the dude from Jones's team. And you right. could just see Hall was literally looking at this dude like, huh? Like he was confused, like he was getting ready to break out in laughter or something. But that dude has zippy personality. Right. It's, it's funny, man, to see a lot of these. I think a lot of it, you know, it's, it's almost like arrested development. <laughs> It's funny though. It's true. Like a lot of people, if you're if you're an athlete and you're training, a lot of times, and not, this isn't in the case, and, and don't get me wrong, everybody, but the case is a lot of times is when you are a, a athlete, you played baseball your whole life, football your whole life, basketball your whole life, you know, and now fighting, and you haven't had the t time to socially interact with people. Your social life kind of goes in the shitter to some degree. You know, well, your social skills are in the shitter because you don't have a social life. Right. I'm sure you have a strong relationship with mommy and daddy, but yes. Um. 
Oh, now we're going to transition into MMA news, and right. I'm going to lead this off with something that I have not brought up to Kevin. So this is shit's coming out of left field no. from a character who's out of left field. Right. This shit, this shit right here, I I had to read twice. Don Fry. If we can all <laughs> jump oh, in the I way back machine. I forgot about that shit. Right. <laughs> Don Fry is on record for saying that Randy Couture. And Frank Mir threw the fights against Brock Lesnar and let him win. And he said Brock Lesnar's the biggest asshole he's ever met. Now, one of those statements I agree with. Two of them, I don't know, man. I, well, I, you know, what, what was his, you know, I didn't watch the whole interview. And they caught him at the Arnold Classic, was it? I guess. They call, I, dude, I didn't watch it. I just read that part, and I had to read it again, and then I went click. I'm like, maybe just one too many shots to the head, Don Fry. Although I would never tell that to Don Fry. And if Don no, Fry, you have talking, to watch He was this talking video. about he's going to get signed to fight. He might. He might. Dude, I mean, he's going to he, fuck he, up some old folks home. Yeah, he might. I mean, so these guys are fighting in their 40s and fucking late 40s. I mean, you know, they're fighting. I mean, if he can do it, he. I bet you he can fight and beat some of the guys over in Bellator. Well, that's not saying a lot, to yeah, be honest. But, but it's a paycheck, so he, why won't he? You know what I mean? But I tell you what, I yeah, did I see that Don Fry was out of shape. Now, obviously, he can get back into shape. But when you let yourself go in your late 40s and 50s, it's a big difference in letting yourself go in your well, fucking 20s. did you see, did you read a statement on PEDs? He's like, all athletes use them. What do you think? Right. I was like, okay. Yeah. I was like, Don, you win. Yeah. Now, um, anyway, before we go on, I got we have some more MMA news. Uh I, we've talked several times about MMAValor.com. These guys actually do a great, uh, tough, they've been writing blogs about tough S that's been going on. They've got great articles about the uh, recaps of tough as well as other articles. If you get a chance, go over to MMAValor.com and check them out. Uh, Comical, brash, and yeah, sometimes politically incorrect. The Uncut Sports Show. Non traditional sports coverage delivered the way you like it by your uncensored co hosts, Kevin White and George Bedford. <laughs> 